Hi, I'm Angie, and this is not my kitchen. I'm going to be making giblet gravy to go with the dressing. On Thanksgiving Day, I'm in Biloxi. All right, first we're going to take some oil poured into an iron skillet. I've got the iron skillet hot, and I'm just going to cover the bottom, um, maybe a half a cup, a little more. And then I'm going to add some flour, just regular self-rising flour. It'll take a little bit. Uh, we're going to make a pot for this pot over here. For so we'll add as we go. Just stir it in. I use a fork. Some people use a spoon. Some people use a whisk. Just add a little more. We want it to be thick. We're making this as a, what you call a roux. Just basically flour and oil, cooking it, making it thick. A little bit more. This is another thing I don't measure. I go from eye. I know how thick it needs to be to cook. Cut up the heat just a little bit. All right, that looks good enough. We're going to let it brown. We'll have to um, just let it brown and I'll uh, get a little bit of water. Probably need several cups. Keep it stirred, keep it stirred. But right now, I think I'll add some black pepper. I'm just going to kind of Coat the top of it, and with salt, again about, about a tablespoon. You don't want it dark brown, but you want the flour to kind of cook so it don't taste the gummy. Give it a minute. Just stirring. This takes a few minutes. It's not going to be fast. In this pot, I already have. I have um, just pieces of dark meat shredded. I've chopped up the liver and I pulled the uh, meat off of the uh, neck bones and uh, I've chopped the gizzard. It's just in turkey broth. Can you tell it's turning a different color? It's starting to get a light brown. I use an iron skillet. You can use any skillet. Uh, I don't suggest a non-stick skillet. <coughs> we get one shade darker. on a gas stove. I'm not used to cooking on gas. I cook on electric at home. All right, this is the process that's going to get really, really thick when I start adding water and it's going to get thick fast. So I just got a big, big bowl full of water and so I could do it really fast. 
pour the water in and it'll immediately start to get real thick. You have to stir and stir and stir. We want it really, really super thick. There we go. We're getting the thickness we need now. I cut the heat off. It's not even looking like gravy. But we want to keep stirring it. It's getting really stiff, but we want to keep stirring. Add a little water in time. Now I'm going to take it, see how gobby it is. I'm going to take it. And now I'm going to put it over into, I'll put this over here. This is my giblets. And I'm just going to spoon it over into this. Thickness and all. I'll put this in the sink. And we'll take the same fork and I'm just going to slowly whisk it in. Just slowly, slowly. Beating it and whisking it in. Making it smooth. No heat necessary. Just continue whipping it. I use a fork, so maybe we use a whisk, like I said, but a spoon, no, it needs to be a fork or a whisk. I will turn the heat up in a minute, turn it on. See how I got it whipped out now. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to taste it for spices. Maybe a little bit more salt. Just a pinch more. And then you just let it simmer for a couple of hours before dinner while your dressing's cooking. But this is the main ingredient after you do it. You egg. You put boiled egg. This is about four I've chopped up. You don't really want to stir it a lot after you add the eggs. We're going to keep the egg intact. Take the fork and just kind of rake it back and forth. Here's your gravy. Thickness of your gravy. We'll cut it on low and I'll be back in about two hours and show you what it's going to look like after it's done.